Hi, I'm Erika Sánchez, the filmmaker of the short film Panthers. Um, in this generation section in this Berlinale. Anhelo tu deseo, eso es lo que tiemblo. Yo me voy al dinero, tu Dios y sus adeptos. Reza un Padre nuestro, te hago llegar al cielo. Curitas Dios y bajamos juntos al infierno. Vivo casa de agua, tu coño mermelada. Mi lengua en la tostada, su amor no solo fama. Hi, welcome to the 34th Teddy Award. My name is Jan Felix Wuttig and I'm here with director Erika Sanchez and Alba Casas to discuss the movie Panteres. Hi, welcome to the festival. Uh, hi, uh, I'm fine. I'm Thank I'm you very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I like the movie a lot because it had so many courageous scenes. There's this first scene in the shower where we see uh, Joanna sort of watching other women sitting down and there's a lot of things that we see that are not otherwise shown much in society. We have body fat, we have uh, pregnant bodies, we have period blood. Um, maybe you could tell us what, what your idea was behind including that scene at the beginning. Yes, I okay. I answer in Spanish, but I understand your question. Um, Panteras eh, eh, quiere ser una una exploración en en la pubertad femenina eh, eh, en las sociedades heteropatriarcales. Entonces, en estas sociedades hay eh, una construcción de, de del cuerpo femenino muy eh, concreta y muy estereotipada. Entonces, para, para visualizar y hacer esta, esta exploración y esta mirada distinta a los cuerpos de la mujer, era necesario mostrar otros cuerpos que también existen. Y son los cuerpos que muestra eh, la primera escena, sobre todo, que es como una declaración de intenciones. So, yeah. Actually, this first scene is like um, intention, like purpose declaration, and it wants to start um, hard or breaking with the topic of showing things that you would normally see in a movie, uh, in a short movie or like in fiction, and it is and it is exactly the purpose of it because she wants to uh, she wants to give space for exploration of new ideas and new spaces uh, in especially approach uh, as a teenage uh, teenager um, girls and yeah and she wants she's it is framed in this um, heteropatriarchal society yeah. <laughs> yes and yeah it, it is really good that you said it because it was actually what she wanted to talk also about not only bodies but also like giving a space to the period and how women see other women and it is something very important for her so thank you yeah. for having standing up of course <laughs> yes. i think it's it's very much um you see very much what kind of movie it is you're going to see at the at the beginning you know mm -hmm. it is made very clear that this is another kind of movie, you know, that there are things that are going to be shown here which are not otherwise shown. And I think that a lot of it is told um, simply by how characteristic the two main characters are, you know, but because a lot of it is told by, by their bodies, by their face expressions. They're also very different. Um, could you maybe tell us 
uh, how you went about casting, how you found kind of like the, the perfect protagonists for the movie. Ok, el eh, proceso de casting, ¿no? ¿Cómo va? Digo que, digo que es, eh, es especialmente eh, característico el hecho de que los personajes explican mucho, no només porque... O sea, no, no només por el que dicen, sino por cómo se mueven. Y digo que troba muy eh, acertat cómo se escogió a estas dos actrices y vol saber cómo va a ser el proceso de casting. Ok. Eh, el, el proceso de, de casting, la, la verdad es que fue a lo largo de tres meses y lo concentramos en el lugar donde íbamos a rodar, con la intención de encontrar chicas de, de ese sitio, porque es un, es un lugar, es el, el Prat, que es en los alrededores de Barcelona, y nos gustaba la idea de rodar con chicas, que, que las dos protagonistas fueran de, de, ese, de ese lugar. Pero casualmente aparecieron dos chicas de, de Barcelona y lo que hicimos durante el proceso de casting eh, fue, eh, más que actuar, hacíamos una, un, hacíamos una, entrevista, una entrevista, sino un, una conversación previa sobre lo que significaba ser mujer, sobre los cambios que ellas estaban experimentando en, en, en la edad de, de ese momento. Eh, y sobre muchas de las reflexiones que luego ¿no? eh, se muestran en, en Panteras. Y luego hicíamos, hacíamos pruebas de cámara para ver la fisicidad, ¿vale? su, su físico, su manera de estar. ¿no? Y, y ahí fue clave, por ejemplo, para escoger al, al personaje de Nina, ¿no? que creo que, que tiene un, una, una expresión, una manera de moverse eh, que encajaba muy bien con el personaje que, que había escrito. Y en el caso de Laia fue lo contrario, o sea, Laia en... se expresa de una forma mucho más íntima que Joana, que es el, el personaje. Pero era muy, muy bonito eh, cómo, cómo dialogaba su manera natural de expresarse y de moverse y de interactuar con, eh, con el personaje. Entonces ahí se construyó un personaje nuevo, ¿no? O sea, lo que yo tenía en mente con Joana, eh, cómo era Laia. Eh, dio lugar a otro personaje que era la nueva Joana. Ah, no. okay. Okay. So, um, casting process took uh, more or less three months, and at the beginning they planned to take cast uh, actresses from El Prat, which is where the short movie takes place, and um, El Prat is uh, the city of. of the airport in, in Barcelona, it's in the outskirts. So at the first stage, they were trying to find some actresses there, but uh, by any by chance, they just found out about these two girls that were actually from Barcelona. And they decided that instead of a regular casting, they would just begin with the conversation. So they started to uh, ask them what they think, what do they think, what they thought about uh, women and what they thought about the changes they were living at this moment of their lives and how they felt about it and what was your what was their view of the world kind of so then uh, they were happy with the kind of relationship that was established with between both of them and then in the case of the character of Nina um, her body movements and physicality were so um, impressive that they decided that she was the one. And then, uh, on the other hand, with the case of um, the Joanna, yeah, Joanna is the character that is uh, portra uh, played by Laia. Laia was more like a shy personality kind, but the character that she thought was not at all, like the character that uh, she had in mind for Joanna was not at all that. So um, they had to talk a lot and have a lot of uh, dialogues and a lot of uh, elasticity and flexibility and finally they got to this middle ground uh, character. Yeah, okay, I, I can, wow. Because there's, especially with uh, Joanna, there's a lot of energy, there's a lot of also very crass sort of movements. I mean, there's, there's this scene where she's standing in front of the mirror and just kind of like undressing and just kind of grabbing her crotch and stuff like yes. that. And it's, uh, that's, 
Okay. Actually, I um, I met the actress yesterday because they are here too, and she told me that it was very hard to do. Yeah. All the, that it was like a hard process. Yeah. yeah. For for them yeah. and for her because it's like nothing to do with her. Yeah. <laughs> with her. Natural. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's her real self. Yeah. 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 And uh, by contrast, Nina is very sort of somber, very doesn't say a whole lot just kind of internalizes a lot of things. Um, what was the kind of idea b between making them so different? I mean, there's those scenes where Joanna seems to be very annoying. <laughs> sort of, and Nina is just sitting there like, yeah. Mm -hmm. and what was the kind of, um, that kind of notion to, to make them opposites in a way? Vale. Eh, ¿Tenías alguna intención o, o cómo va a surgir eso de, de hacer las oposadas? O sea, porque la Joana... Sí, ok. Um, la intención era, de alguna manera, porque eh, pensaba que, o, o, o creo que, como se expresa Nina, puede ser la esencia de Joana, In, in, y, y Nina eh, necesita pasar por una personalidad similar a la de Joana para poder emanciparse. Okay. Entonces el diálogo ahí también era como interesante ese contraste. Uh, somehow she felt that the um, contrast was interesting in the way that uh, she thought that. Nina had to pass through Joanna. Es la Nina que ha de pasar. Sí. Had to pass through Joanna to free herself. Ah. Okay. Y, y has to la... emancipate herself, yeah. as ah. in as in the personality kind, mm -hmm. like to clo uh, break the limits. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is it? Y, y, yes. Y en el caso de Joanna. <laughs> And the other way too, around. Yeah. yeah. So, like, the characters needed yeah, to feel to, the contrast yeah, yeah. of being, uh, playing out a totally different personality to really explore yeah. uh, what is it, to uh, how do you feel and how do you live it. Yes, exactly, like that sort of contrast which, in that sense, gives you exactly what you kind of need to... Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Especially for teenagers, isn't it, like, yeah. they are... They are in a time of uh, really exploration yes. and, <laughs> and a lot of conflict. I think <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah. and finding themselves. Yeah. yeah. Actually, on that topic, there's this um, scene. One theme that you talk about in the film is anorexia. Yeah. Um, and it seemed to me that it sort of parallels um, the transition that Joanna is going through, uh, because both seem to be seem to not have the kind of body that they want. Mm -hmm. They seem to want something else. Also, there's this song at the end, which goes, let, be, let me be another girl, sort of, which seems to kind of comment on that a little bit. Um, so I guess my question is, what was the idea of giving, uh, giving Nina that sort of, um, that, that, that uh, setting with the group that discusses anorexia? body problems. Ok, sí, necesito que la pregunta. Uh -huh. Quina era la idea darrere de posar a la Nina en un grup que parla de d'anorexia, per ser? Sí. Perquè hi veu paral·lels, o sigui, veu que el tema està allà sí. en el background perquè cap de les dues eh, actri... cap dels dos personatges se sent contenta amb el, amb el seu cos i a més a més al final hi ha aquesta cançó. Sí. Um, al parque. Sí, ya alguna, o sí, que es, mm. explica que si sí, alguna idea de Herrera, para qué la, para qué a qué tema. Okay, eh, eh, okay. Eh. Cuando yo tenía 12 años me diagnosticaron anorexia y, y, y esto eh, para mí evidentemente supuso un, una manera casi yo diría de estar en el mundo. Eh, y de ahí eh, empecé a, a, a pensar mucho sobre eh, lo que significaba eh, construirte tu identidad 
desde una visión de género, es decir, cómo yo me construyo como mujer, ¿no? Eh, y empecé a observar que a mí me habían diagnosticado anorexia, pero muchas de mis colegas, amigas, mujeres, no estaban diagnosticadas, pero eh, tenían síntomas, ¿no? Y, y por eso pensé, eh, como centras la película en la pubertad femenina, que este tema no sea el tema central, sino que sea un tema tan, eh, tangente, o sea, que no, no central, mmm, pero, que, pero que surja para poder conectarse con la pubertad femenina. Sobre todo desde esta visión de construcción de identidad como mujer. ¿Sí? Ok. <risa> Um, when she was 12, she was diagnosed. 12, ¿no? Sí. sí. When she was 12, she was diagnosed with uh, anorexia, and that was for her the um, the awake moment in which she understood that actually it was her construction of women women identity that was very much uh, approach with this um, umbrella term called uh, anorexia and she thought so much about how gender construction uh, was affected by this um, anorexia and so actually she once this this happened and in the process of um, overcoming it she understood that actually most of her friends and colleagues were act, were having symptoms of this um, of this disease and uh, and for her uh, she that's why she wanted to bring this issue to the movie so that it was not a central topic but it was transversal in it and so that um, it was seen as an element that is there for women when they construct their uh, identity in that stage of uh, life that is uh, adolescence and yeah. yeah okay so basically that you have that ideal of yourself or maybe your gender to look a certain way to have a certain body ideal and you force yourself to follow that ideal and it basically hurts you in the in the process yes yeah. yes and it it's sort of the way the movie plays out um, it shows that that body ideal or the way people want to be seen also in the um, in the poster in the in the drawing that uh, Joanna puts up which sort of comes out in the twist ending <laughs> okay I'm, now I'm spoiling okay. the audience <laughs> sorry yeah yeah especially for me <laughs> um, but uh, I thought I, I thought about the reasons why she would put up the the, the posters, and I thought um, there was a way that maybe she she wanted that to, to to make that public, to have something to fight for. But that is just my interpretation, my interpretation in the end. Okay. But um, maybe you could tell us why you put that in there. Why why she actually put up the poster. Ok, ¿por qué lo cuelga, no? ¿Qué, qué sí, quiere que demostrar? Que... Sí, eh, eh, it's, eh, es, es, una, es, una, es una alerta, es una, es una rebeldía, una, una manera de, de ir contra todo, ¿no? Y de expresarlo, o sea, de pasar del interior al exterior, ¿no? Es como una catarsis. It was the bridge from interior to exterior, like alarm, like alert, and okay. yeah. yeah, that's what you thought? Um, sort of the, yeah, to, to, to sort of um, show with, yeah. with show the drawing. Yeah, re show rebellious. Yeah, show what, what she wanted to say, and, and by that sort of say, that's who I am, that's what I want to be public. In a way. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, okay. But we can just leave that open. 
<risa> okay. Maybe eh, en ese momento sí, pero luego no. No okay. sé. Yeah. I don't know. <risa> we'll just leave that. Yeah. Um, I think that's it, actually. Uh, thank you so much for being thanks. here. Oh, thanks. It's <laughs> really nice. Yes. Thanks okay. for your passion. <laughs> thank you for the movie. Okay. okay. Thank you. Thank you.